Okay, so that's 10 uh, for you. Yeah, bad to my Because if it is, that man's waiting. Okay, I'm gonna let you use mines because they're letting him go. Then that makes you wait again. That's their fault. They should have told me something. Actually, fuck. Oh, questions which you might know how to do because I think you had physics before all right so what do we do here well look I'm gonna I'm gonna get a guess at who knows my age uh, who in here thinks for 10 points they know how old I am raise your hand wrong you said 47 right now right. nope you still guessing you gotta raise your hand though if you want to guess again nope anybody Dang. It must be the gray hairs in my beard, huh? Nope. Close. So close. Y'all yeah, can't say it at the next number. Yeah, they already got it, you know what I'm saying? 43. That's why I said you so close. Give it to Mr. Uh, Nathan. He had 10 points for guessing. No, you didn't. See, here you go. All right, let me do this, man. He did that to me last quarter. Didn't I say that? Boy, you something else. All right, we do. This is the steps you write down. Mr. Tyler is 43 years old, right? But you're gonna use your age for this calculation, not 43. So I hope you paid attention. I'm gonna write down what I'm writing, but that number of age should be yours. And I know your age is an Esby, so I'll put the right one. Huh, this is number one, yep. So what do we got? Well, you gotta convert. You can write the step down, write the sentence of what you're doing. You gotta tell people what you're doing when you do math. Convert your, you, not me, Whoa. age, and years into, yes, into seconds. You gotta explain what you're gonna do mathematically. You just can't throw some numbers up there without a sentence, right? Wait, wait, wait. why do we gotta do that in the question already right up? Because this is how, how, how people think in math. They explain everything. All right, so equals. And then time down for early dismissal. You put it into a fraction, Jennifer right? who? So that'll be 40 years old, Mr. Yeah. Tyler. You put your age there. Over one, it's making it a fraction. I gotta move that to My, don't, you don't say. I said you, I said earlier, I'm gonna watch, I'm gonna run a video back. I told you. I know you, you, you said. I know you said. <laughs> so let's see if he remembers anything. What's the, the bottom is one. Okay. This means multiplication. So you use star on your keyboard for that. You can use parentheses to group up your fractions. So I gotta do dimensional analysis. I gotta cut, cancel things out. So let me ask another question for points. Um, if I said Mariah divided by Mariah, is that equal to? Don't you say that. Stop. All right. well, nope. I love it when students do that. That's wrong. Like one. What? One Mariah. Nope. Not this boy. Yes, just one, man. He said one Mariah. <laughs> just one. You know why, right? Because A divided by A is math. It's zeros. A divided by A is one. Y'all know that, right? Z divided by Z is one. Eight divided by eight, one. Let's keep going. So we're going to cancel out some things here. How many, you know some things from elementary school, how many days are in one year? Raise your hand if you know. Okay, yeah, some of y'all spoke it, but I'm gonna go with the one I first saw was Jesus. 365. Okay, thank you. You get five extra points. 365 days are in fact in one year. Over uh, one year. That's the equivalent, right? These are called standard conversions. Occupied, it's occupied. What do I cross out here, anybody know? Copy that. What crosses out? Raise your hand if you know. No, I said what crosses out? Years. Year divided by year is one. That's why I had a discussion with y'all to help you understand. Yes, ma'am. Oh, you got to pick you up your brother. Uh, Nerd, tell you got to sign out. Your sister's here. You know how to finish it at home if you can, right? 
Keeping it going. We're in days. Our goal is seconds, right? That's our goal. These are dimensions. So what's the next dimension after we're in days? Think about what's inside of a day. Who said? Yeah, Joshua. Okay. You got you got your document ready? Because you got to put your points in. Did you create your document? You just earned five points. <laughs> You're right next to Nelson. So he know. All right. So one day. Right. Ready, y'all? Just do me a favor. That's twenty-four after hours. After this group of students come, there's no more movement. No movement. Copy that. We'll cross this out again. Think about it. Copy. Days. Day divided by day, right? And if you need help with this, again, this lady over here, Mrs. You know, Dyer, she got, she got, look like this way of typing it real good. You gotta type everything too, if you ask me again. All right, so we're in hours, we're getting close. Right after hours, what do we got? Think about it. What's inside of that? You, 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 you be talking low. Is Joshua, you said that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many minutes though? An hour six. Pretty good. Five more points. So you put 60 minutes, and its equivalent is one. Out. Cross out what now? We didn't even get the seconds. Th thank you. Thank you. We didn't get the seconds yet, but close. Five points. <laughs> We're here, right? Almost there. Next step, what do you think it's going to be? Seconds. Yes, sir. That's five more because you got the right answer. So, how do I set this up? You might know. We did this much. 60 seconds. Uh huh. Goes up top or bottom? 60 minutes. I mean, you said it right first. 60 seconds. 60 seconds. Where's it go? Up or bottom? Up or down? Top? Yep. In one minute. Mm hmm. Bottom. Yes, sir. And what crosses out? See if you can get additional five. Okay. So that's what? You got 15 doing it? That's pretty cool, Gasson. All right, now. I'm gonna rewrite this and cal calculate it, and uh, I'm only gonna write what's not crossed out. So pay attention, because you gotta do this. Did everybody change this number here to your age? Okay, don't give me mine. Y'all work with your age, uh, my age. I know that already. This is gonna be equal to 43, right? Or whatever age you had, times 365. Remember, these are gone. Times three, I'm gonna say 24, times 60, times 60, right? What goes at the end of all this? What's not crossed out? Seconds. The, the calculation is so, not correct because it's still seconds long right now. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so what? That's fine. I, I gotta let uh, he finally yeah, he he might, he, it, yeah, cause he's been waiting, but I think he wants to go up front. He didn't want to use that bathroom or something. You right? don't really gotta use it then. <laughs> <laughs> I like how I'm recording it. Alright, so let me let's type this in. He said that means you don't really need to use it. He said like something I would say. Yeah, you really don't got to go that bad. Yeah. You just want to go out in the hall. All right. Uh, so we got 43. This is how you do it in uh, Google Land, y'all. You know Google's a calculator, too. You can use calculators on your desk. Equal sign. 43 uh, times, there it is, 365 times 24 times, see that I got it typed in? You just changed that number 43 to yours. And I'm moving quick because I'm looking at this clock. They're going to get y'all in about another, I want to say, nine minutes. So I got to hurry up and show you the next one. And then, again, you got to do everything else using the book. This is the only calculator part. So here's the answer. Pretty hard is number poor Roberto. That's going to be equivalently. Your number's going to be different from mine's. Because you're using your age, right? So one, three, five, six. Let's see how we're going to write that. As zero, four, eight. And it's another eight? No, it's one, that's three zeros after it. And seconds. How do you type it in to calculate? It's up there. See what I did up there? Oh, well, why don't you get up? Come on down. You need to get you some glasses, brother. I don't know. <laughs> so this is my age in seconds. Make sure you have your, uh, you know, your commas in there so you can group your numbers and say it correctly. I, yes, I will look for you to do that right. So how do we group that? Oh, we say these is our hundreds. Y'all should know this. These is, yours is going to be different because you got your age in there, right? I'm say 5.04576. Okay, E8. E8. That means 10 to the power of 8. It's engineering. I thought we did that uh, last quarter, man. You forgot about that. 10 to the power of 8. Yeah, anytime you see E, and then that means 10, it's engineering notation. 
and is raised to the power of whatever numbers after that eight. All right, so you would write that number and then, you know, and figure it out. So then you group it again, because this is our millions, right? So we're out, there's hundreds, thousands, millions, and I think next is uh, billions or something. Yep. All right, everybody got this? I gotta do problem two. This is all problem number one. Yeah, you, because you keep going, yeah. But your numbers might be in the millions, I think. All right, so don't forget to put seconds after that number because it has to mean something, right? Just seconds. Question two, and I will put a picture of this inside of SV, so if you're worried about running out of time, don't worry about it, you finish later. You got till Monday, 8 p.m. to get all of the document complete, not some of it. Y'all got some more to do with the book in there. If you need to borrow a book, just let staff know. They'll try to let you borrow a book. Or you can come early. Uh, period one, I'm here. You can work on stuff or lunch uh, when I'm doing game. Anyway. How are uh, you You got to use the video, right? To answer it, well, only with the video. Uh, let me do the next question. All right. That was red. And that was for, uh, where are we at? The mega dollar question, right? Or mega, you at this problem here, and again, like we did earlier, for number two, the minivan's price was given. So we want to say, hey, how do we convert that to kilo dollars and mega? Let me ask some questions for points. What power, and for this, you got to go to page 18 to keep up with me. There's a table that tells you what each of these mean. So for a kilo dollar, that's 10 to what power? I'm writing this, I'm waiting to see you can tell me. That's 10 to what power for a kilo? There you go. So you see why I be laughing at the drug movies and stuff. They be talking about, yeah, I got that kilo. Then they're talking about 10 to the third. They're talking about 1,000. Okay, keep that in mind. So use that table uh, found on page 18 very well in case you ever get confused about what these prefixes mean. So that would be 32. All right. Uh, what do we got? Uh, 253. Dollars, make sure you put your dimension right, all uh, over one, and uh, we want to convert it, in this first case, to mega, right? So this is the first one, part A, and what do we got? Well, let's think about what we just said. We know for a thousand dollars, or ten to the third dollars, that is a thousand, right? So a kilo. So that would be ten to the third, in this case, dollars. And that's equivalent to what? One kilo dollar. Okay, makes sense? So knowing that, we can go ahead and do the calculation because right here, if you notice, dollars cancel and now we're in what we wanted in part A, kilo dollars. So we can cross out dollar here, dollar here. We still gotta do some math. And when we do that, it looks like this divided by that. So let's go ahead and see if Google can give us a good answer. This time I can use the calculator if y'all know how to do it. There's a 10x button that makes this super easy for you. So you can actually, you got the newer ones in your hand. And hit the fraction button first, right? This little button here. It gives you an already made fraction. And I can just type it in. So it says 32, uh, 253, 32,253. And then that's crossed out. I'll put that. And the bottom is 10, right? I hit the 10x button and put three there. Error. I hit the wrong button. So put it three there, and I get 32.253, right? And that's because it's already moved it over three places. So 32.53 kilo dollars is the actual answer. for the part A, part B should be easy. And I'm going to let you calculate what part B is because I want you to get some practice. You, you will have a quiz tomorrow. If this question pops up or the other one, you should know how to do some of it. You got good notes. Okay, so what do we do? Well, same setup. We turn the number when it converts to a fraction. We take 32,000 comma 253 dollars put it over one, come over here. Uh, in this case, and this is the last time I'm gonna give you all points because we run out of time. 
what is, what does the prefix or suffix uh, mega, uh, uh, yeah, mega mean? All right, we do a mega next, right? What power 10 is that? Get your hand on Nelson, what you got? Uh, yes, good job, using that table. Number five, uh, five points for you, sir. Add it to your score. All right, so this is like you said, it's gonna be 10 to the sixth power dollars, is what that means. And then what is it? it's equivalent? It's equivalent is mega dollar, right? So we're gonna put it up here. We want to know that that's equivalent to one mega dollar, right? Which when we calculate it, uh, before we do, we gotta cross out some dollars go away again, right? Dollar divided by dollar is one. Rewrite with the calculation. Do the same thing with the calculator. It's quick. Or you can use Google. Um, if you don't know how to type it in correctly. So hit the fraction button. I got the same number, 32, 253. Press down, hit the 10x button, put the little six in there this time, not three, and I get an even smaller amount of dollars. Because remember, this is a mega dollar, so it's got to be a smaller amount. Um, that comes to about zero point. Looks like it just made it smaller. So watch this. It's going to do zero point. Zero, three, two, two, five, three. Looks familiar, right? Because it moved over six places. And then it's gonna be labeled a mega. Very small amount in terms of mega dollars, right? Looks big, but when you talk about in terms of mega dollars, it's not much, all right? So I prefer to use this because, uh, when I say a second period, I think it's second period of physics, they used the, the Google calculator and they gave me the wrong number. But these kind of help out. It depends upon how Google's feeling that gives you wrong stuff. I'm in your way. I see you doing all this. My bad. All right. So I think it was, who got the recording points? It was, it was you? Okay.